and Colorado Springs as my top two. Um, just because, you know, I live in Denver. Uh, Colorado Springs is about 45 hour away from me. Um, and then I chose everything else. Um, what I chose Dallas. I have a friend that lives in Dallas who was more than happy to have me stay with her. And I, my boyfriend's family lives in Chicago, so that was my fourth pick. So I had options. Kind of how um, the order the order where I kind of needed people to stay so it can save money on my pockets. Um, and then I got my domicile yesterday. Nowhere near anything that I chose. Um, I got Minneapolis. I'm not gonna lie, yesterday, guys, I was really sad. I was really sad. Um, but by the end of the day, I came to terms with it. Um, I think it's more so because I'm trying to find somewhere like a crash pad. Um, a lot of us got sent to Minneapolis, even classes beforehand. So I'm assuming that a lot of the crash pads are currently being taken up right now, being used. Um, but I'm optimistic. Um, again, you guys know I rely heavily on God and I honestly believe God has a plan for me. Um, so I can't even be upset anymore. It just is what it is. By the grace of God's glory, I did find a crash pad this morning. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to stick with it, but I think I'm going to try to go see it before my IOE, which I have not got yet. Um, but I honestly believe that um, I'll go check it out. And I feel like that's the one I'm going to end up going with just because it's really, really close to the airport. It's low cost. I'll be able to afford it while I'm still being able to afford my rent here and my sweet rent and all that good stuff all typical you know debts that people have um i'm just being honest with you guys you know i have a car note i have a car payment um cell phone bill bills typical things so i just want to make sure that it was feasible for me um my business is here so that's probably the primary primary lord the primary reason why i was not going to move anywhere um i don't want to be a commuter but i mean honestly i have to do what i have to do um until it gets better until i get put my transfer in to get to denver so i'm going to do that every month until i get back to my home so that is the goal but um i just wanted to give you guys a little update that yes minneapolis is my domicile um honestly in my head i feel like i'm gonna be there for like three to four months before i even get my transfer Pratefully, that's before then, but I'm just gonna be optimistic and realistic um, just because I've just been seeing things fluctuate and I'm starting kind of to see how like the transfers work and bidding works and everything. So um, I'm just optimistic to that. Again, I still have to finish my IOE before anything that happens. So I believe that might not even be until end of April, maybe early May. So we'll see, you know, I'll keep you guys updated, but I just want to let you guys know what is going on since I graduated almost a week ago at this point. Um, actually, a week ago, I passed my final. So it still feels good that I'm a flight attendant and I have my wings, y'all. I was a little disappointed and sad, but you know, it comes with a job. They did say, gotta be flexible and open to moving really anywhere the domiciles are. So I feel better today, um, slept on it. Um, my boyfriend and my family is just so, so supportive. And they're just like, girl, you haven't even tested it out yet. You don't even know what's gonna be like. Like, calm down and just see what happens. So. I'm just gonna see what happens i'm grateful i'm truly blessed so um yeah guys um thank you for watching and i will catch you on the next video